ever pondered upon the multitude of ways a cauldron can be deployed in the mystical world of witchcraft? If not, then prepare to be enlightened. Today, we delve into the intriguing topic of cauldrons and their six paramount uses in the magical realm. Our first exploration leads us to the art of scrying. This ancient divination technique involves gazing into a reflective surface to receive spiritual visions. Fill your cauldron with water, then add a touch of black ink or dye. This dark, reflective surface can serve as your portal to hidden realms and future insights. Next, we turn to the elemental force of fire. A cauldron can be a safe space for building mini-fires, essential for a variety of spells and rituals. Whether you're invoking the power of fire spirits or burning a written intention, the cauldron's sturdy structure ensures that your magical fire remains under control. Our third stop on this journey introduces us to the celestial magic of moon water. On a clear night under a full moon, place your cauldron under the open sky to collect moonlight-infused water. This moon water can be used in a plethora of spells, potions and rituals, making it a potent tool in any witch's arsenal. The fourth use of a cauldron in witchcraft involves the aromatic world of burning oils. By placing a heat-safe dish inside the cauldron and adding a tea light underneath, you can diffuse essential oils during your magical workings. This method not only fills your space with enchanting scents, but also adds an extra layer of intention to your spells. Next, we delve into the realm of herbal blends. A cauldron is a perfect vessel for mixing and brewing magical herbs. Whether you're creating a healing salve, a love potion, or a protective charm, the cauldron's deep round shape allows for a thorough blend of all ingredients. The sixth and final use for a cauldron in witchcraft is the collection of rainwater. Rainwater, especially when collected during a storm, is believed to hold immense energy. This energy can be harnessed in a variety of spells and rituals. Simply leave your cauldron outside during a rainstorm and allow nature to fill it with this potent water. And there you have it. The six paramount uses of a cauldron in witchcraft. Scrying, building mini fires, making moon water, burning oils, creating herbal blends, and gathering rainwater. Each of these uses taps into the elemental powers of earth, air, fire, and water, allowing the witch to harness these energies in their magical workings. So, the next time you see your cauldron, gaze upon it with new appreciation and let it assist you in weaving your spells with more power and intention.